Hi, thanks for watching. There is a court case 2 colon 17 dash CV dash 13737 dash MAG dash MKM and it was filed in the United States District Court of the Eastern District of Michigan, I believe. Um, so this is the case. Um, David Cowdlow plaintiff v. the Nielsen Company US LLC defendant and it was filed in the United States District Court Eastern District of Michigan Southern Division so I wanted to show you um, this uh, document it is docket 36 document number 20 in that court case and um, so basically um, this is a, a, a household emailed Nielsen that the household wanted to make aware that there was a BBB complaint regarding their participation. So this is an email that a household wrote about their participation at Nielsen and it was included in a court case. So let's hear the email. So I'm just going to have the, the um, the program read aloud. So here goes. Hello. I'd like to make you aware of the BBB complaint I filed today after multiple attempts to get in contact with a manager from Nielsen. I'm exceptionally upset with how my family has been treated. My family has been a Nielsen family for a little over a year since April 2016. All Nielsen families are part of the sample group for two years and, I'm told by your marketing, mine is the perfect family. We cover multiple age brackets with five people between the ages of 15 and 43 and one in college, have all cable channels offered by our cable provider, have multiple web-based streaming services including Netflix, Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, PlayStation TV, and a television in five rooms. Nielsen was very eager to sign us up. Once we were signed up, however, we were treated like we were not important at all. The only redeeming person we dealt with was our service tech, Dave. Dave dutifully came to our home every time Nielsen's equipment malfunctioned, which was all the time. Dave did his job well and was exceptionally respectful of our schedules, our home, our children, and our pets. We began getting harassing calls and texts when Dave was out on sick leave. A person named Brian called and texted relentlessly, attempting to gain access to my home because one of our televisions, he said, was not reporting. We unplugged all of our appliances including Nielsen equipment to protect it during a storm and one of our children hadn't plugged it back in, so we did when we got that call. All equipment fired back up without issue. Brian continued harassing us and finally said Dave told him to call us and text us. He claimed Dave was the one who sent him specifically. I called Dave and asked who Brian was and Dave, not knowing that Brian was attempting to gain access to my home, responded that he was an out-of-town rep and that he didn't really know him. It was very clear that Brian lied Dave did not ask him to call us. This made me exceptionally uncomfortable and I asked to wait the extra two weeks until Dave came back to. Household number four. Household number four. Household number four. Household number four. I would lodge eight sagra to cry KTEIGJRK55578. Case 2 colon 17 CV 13737 mag MKM ECF no 36 to 20, page ID point 577 filed June 27th, 19 page 2 of 3. Work. Brian proceeded to send a barrage of calls and texts insisting he be allowed to access our home. Access our home. He then attempted to bribe me with Visa gift cards to gain access to my home. Brian also began asking insulting questions, like if Dave had ever offered us money or if Dave had ever asked us if we had any televisions we didn't want metered. This set of alarm bells and made the situation frightening. Other than bagels the day we signed up that were brought by Jill Corker and pizza brought by Dave on a few occasions when he needed to service our equipment around dinner time, the only offer of anything monetary was the $120 slash month we received for our participation in the Visa gift card offered to us by Brian. Every device in my home was metered by your company even computers we made clear were never used. The insinuation that we would ever attempt to cheat a system we volunteered for was ridiculous and demeaning. The desperation it took for Brian to attempt to bribe us for access to our home scared us. My husband and I decided we would wait the two weeks for Dave our trusted service tech, to allow access to our home. We set an appointment with Dave and were told the day before he was set to arrive that we were being taken out of the sample seven months early due to our access issues. I have emailed requesting a manager to call me twice with the only response coming from Jill Corker, our very kind marketing rep Jill is kind but she is not a manager. Nielsen has made my family feel discriminated against, unsafe, and taken advantage of. Our family has been manipulated in this situation and it's not okay. Today at 4.30 p.m., we had an appointment for Dave to come remove Nielsen's equipment. This morning, we got a call telling us that Dave would not be coming, with no explanation, and a different service tech would be removing the equipment in his place. 
We've been made to feel incredibly uncomfortable with your alternate service techs, so we will be removing your equipment ourselves and allowing this person to retrieve it from our porch. In my BBB complaint, I stated that I would like an apology from Nielsen and I would like you to honor your commitment of sending $120 total per month for the duration of our two-year commitment. Commitment. Honestly, I don't know what to ask for that makes feelings so utterly violated any better. Please take these complaints seriously. I do not want more families going through what we've been put through. Thank you, household number four. Okay. Number so, four. I would like. So, as you see here, and I do apologize that um, the uh, the computer voice reader sometimes you know the, they're reading like uh, things at the top, um, like that. So uh, sorry for the interruption. Um, when it was reading like the case number or different strings of characters, but anyways, as you see here, um, this is the email. And this is, um, as you see here, it is the case number 217CV13737 MAG MKM. And this is uh, ECF number 36, which is docket 36 of that case number. And uh, dash 20 means document number 20. So um, this was uh, filed 627-2019. Uh, it's a page one of three. And then, um, as you see here, um, uh, the black, I believe it's, it means it's redacted. Um, and then, so as you see here, uh, it's like, uh, a string of emails and, um, and then, um, on 10 October, 2016, uh, household number four, um, it's, uh, redacted, uh, for their names. Or the name of the emailer is redacted so it's just re referenced in this court case is household number four and so basically as you see here um, they wrote an email to a Nielsen employee um, about um, making Nielsen aware of the BB complaint in their overall dissatisfaction um, so this is the first part of their email and it goes to the second part of the email here and they close it please take these complaints seriously I do not want more families going through what we've been put through so thank you for watching and have a great day